Man, this is turning out to be really long. Okay, like that. And then you can also even add a little bit to the top on some of them. Like so, and it adds kind of depth to the lines, like their indents. And let's see, and then finally, to add the overall metal feel, you can add a little bit of like that. Now we got a nice metal. Much better looking. Even better looking than that one. I did that one really fast. And I'm going to add some of the this original uh, oops, wrong brush. Add some of this original flare I had in the in the first one where I had some kind of wild hairs, but I'm going to stick more with the realistic look. You can see here I have some swirls going on. That's from the comic look, but uh, like I said I want a more of a realism for this one. But I will add some of the swirls. I'm going to add some hairs kind of going crazy in the background. Now I have some more hairs right here. Notice I went from a lighter color to slightly dark color, and then uh, there we go. I don't want too much detail on on the cape. I just don't feel, mainly because I'm lazy. I don't feel like I don't feel like doing too much detail. And besides, I want it more in the background. I want it to push the eye away from the central details. It's going to work on our hand a bit, and we're just about done, actually. All I really have to do now is her hand and the rock, and I really don't want to do the rock. Besides, I don't think there's really anything to learn from the rock. Especially if it's going to be more, if it's going to be more of a realistic approach. Notice I'm adding the these uh, slightly brighter reds to the parts of the finger that would be redder near the knuckles and the tips. I'm going to add this kind of bright color now. I don't want too many details on the hand. I'm just going to do this kind of quick. I'm not going to do a fingernail or anything. Also, I, I don't think I'm going to make the distinction between the cape and the rock there like that. Or rock tree thingy, whatever it is. It's sort of a tree and rock together, petrified maybe. I guess I can't say it's petrified because you do have some plants growing, so more of a tree thing. I don't know if I want to... just thinking. Ah, 
Okay, what the hell? I guess I will do that kind of kind of bring that around. And if that's the case, then I guess I'm gonna have to bring in some of this. background So right now I'm just kind of doing some overall shading. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of, this is my cloud brush, but I have it really small, which I use sometimes for doing fine details like this. And I need to add some colors there, add a little bit of these purple colors into the tree branches, then I'd go in and add details, and I'm going to use this brush here. So it's one of the standard brushes that come with Photoshop. I'm going to turn up 100% opacity. And what's cool about this brush is it adds texture to your drawing, or painting in this case. So you can uh, actually, for now, I'm going to use this hard brush, I guess. Screen. A little bit smaller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, the parts that I know are going to be thinking maybe there'll be like a big bulb right there, kind of like that, and got to add some, uh, this kind of look like this. Like a knot. This is what I do when I do trees, this first, uh, and this is uh, like one of those like knotty, you know, one of those knotty trees. Not naughty, but you know, naughty as in with a K. <laughs> a naughty tree. So there's not any other way. I don't know what that would mean. One of those Tolkien trees, but in this case, a naughty tree from Tolkien Universe. It's not tree porn. And this is going to be the last video, so I think. I don't know if I want to continue doing any more of the tree on this drawing. And what I do is I, these hard, you know, lines, and then I go in and I'll refine it. Uh, maybe I'll continue showing some of it. Okay, maybe I'll do one more video.